One of the most notorious Scottish kings of the medieval period was Robert the Bruce, who fought to restore Scotland to an independent nation, and today he is seen as a Scottish national hero. He was involved in William Wallace's revolt against King Edward I of England, and he was made a guardian of Scotland, but he then inherited his family's claim to the Scottish throne and became crowned as Scottish King on the 25th of March 1306. The battles and rivalry between Edward I of England and Robert the Bruce were brutal and resulted in the deaths of thousands on the battlefield. However, Edward was ruthless towards the family of Robert the Bruce during his campaigns in Scotland and this even included the horrific execution of the Scottish King's brother who was hanged, drawn and quartered. Join us today as we look at the execution of Robert the Bruce's forgotten brother and as always to support our channel please make sure to subscribe. Robert the Bruce had four brothers, Nigel, Edward, Thomas and Alexander, and it was his brother Nigel who suffered heavily at the hands of the English. Edward I, the English king, carried out many campaigns against the Scottish, and he attacked many settlements along the border and inside of the Scottish lands, and anyone who was seen as a rebel was subjected to a horrific death at the hands of the English if they were caught but the English king did capture a number of associates of Robert the Bruce, and his treatment of specifically female companions was also completely brutal. Isabella Macduff was a woman who crowned Robert the Bruce the King of Scotland, and in this action it made her guilty of acting in a rebellious way, and she was then captured by the English, and they subjected her to a brutal and barbaric punishment. Isabella, it was said, was taken by the English, and was brought to Berwick, and was put inside a wooden hut in one of the towers of Berwick Castle, with crisscross walls, so that all could watch her for spectacle. But she was subjected to cage punishment, and Robert's sister Mary Bruce was also subjected to this. It was said the English king had a special cage built for the women, and then it was then within Berwick Castle and another place where this happened. Some other accounts were that Mary was placed in a cage which was hanged from the walls of Roxburgh Castle. Isabella was also placed in a cage and was subjected to this treatment, and the tradition, as stated, said that these cages were suspended from the walls of the castle's keeps, and that the women were exposed to the elements and the harsh weather of the north. There was also little shelter. One historian said, specifically of Isabel's punishment, that one who doesn't strike with the sword shall not perish by the sword, but because of that illicit coronation which she made in a little enclosure, made of iron and stone, in the form of a crown, solidly constructed, let her be suspended at Berwick, upon the open heavens, so as to provide, in life and after death, a spectacle for passers-by, an eternal shame. The order to also create the cage does exist, and it was said, it is decreed and ordered by letters under the privy seal, sent to the Chamberlain of Scotland, or his lieutenant of Berwick upon Tweed, that in one of the turrets within the castle, at the same place, in the position which he sees to be the most suitable for the purpose, he caused to be made a cage of stout lattice work of timber, barred and strengthened with iron, in which he is to put the Countess of Buchan. However, these two accounts show the brutality of Edward I's treatment of Robert the Bruce's family and acquaintances, and his brother Nigel would also meet a brutal and barbaric end. Nigel was a younger brother of Robert, and he was born in 1279 at Carrick in Ayrshire. He was the son of Robert de Bruce, the sixth Lord of Annandale, and Margaret the Countess of Carrick. He was a key supporter of his brother's fight for the Scottish crown, and the English king Edward I was seen as an overlord, and he chose John Balliol to rule as a puppet king, as Edward wanted to conquer Scotland. But Balliol was later deposed, and the English invaded, and as mentioned later, Robert the Bruce was crowned, but the pacification of the Scottish realm was brutal at the hands of the English. Edward I was furious that Robert was crowned, and Bruce himself had to flee into hiding, and many of his supporters were later holed up inside of Kildrummy Castle. But inside of this fortification, Nigel de Bruce was the commander, however in 1306, Nigel was captured by the English forces. He, along with his garrison, had managed to hold out the English troops of Edward I for some time, and they had been looking for Robert the Bruce's wife Elizabeth, 
as well as his daughter Marjorie and his sisters, along with, as mentioned, Isabella Macduff, the Countess of Buchan. But the actions of Nigel and his garrison managed to allow the women to escape, but they were later captured and betrayed to the English. Nigel de Bruce, for fighting against English King, was then captured himself, after being overwhelmed and killed Drummy Castle, and then he was sentenced to death for high treason. His execution was debatable, as he had never been a subject of the English King, being Scottish, and inside of Scotland, meaning it showed the brutality of the English King Edward I, and how he was happy to execute his enemy's family, without any questions being asked. Because he was accused of treason, Nigel de Bruce was taken to Berwick-upon-Tweed, the border town in the north of England today, and he was then hanged, drawn and quartered. This horrific execution method was first documented in England during the reign of Edward I, and this became one of the most barbaric execution methods ever used in Britain. This was a multiple stage execution, as first the condemned would be held in prison, before being taken to their place of execution. They were tied to the back of a horse, and were pulled through towns and settlements on the back of a hurdle, and when they got to their execution scaffold, they were then taken from the back of the horses. But they were later to be drawn, but first they would be hanged from a set of gallows by an executioner until almost dead, and they were then cut down for their ordeal to continue. The next part of execution would see the viscera and intestines, along with many other internal organs being literally cut out from the condemned, and the person may still be alive during this ordeal. They also had their genitals cut off and burned in front of them, as these were thrown onto a fire. Following this, the condemned's body and corpse was then thrown onto a table, where an executioner hacked off their head, and then quartered them, slicing them into four pieces, and then these pieces were sent to many towns, to act as a message to not cross the English king. Edward I subjected Nigel de Bruce to this, and the brother of the Scottish king was subjected to this in September 1306, to send a clear message. His execution had a significant amount of propaganda value. It sent a message directly to the Scottish king, as his brother was slaughtered, and also it took place in the border town of Berwick-upon-Tweed, which was a place where Edward's army sacked and rampaged throughout. The manner of the execution was also important, as it showed what would happen to those men who crossed the English king. This was an incredibly harrowing method of execution. Other men met this fate, such as William Wallace, Braveheart, who was actually taken to London for this execution, at the hands of Edward I. Within a year of Nigel the Bruce's horrific execution at the hands of the English, inside of his tent, whilst getting ready for another conquest of Scotland, Edward I died. Edward was known as the Hammer of the Scots, for his actions which included the executions of prominent people. Nigel's brother, Robert the Bruce, remained on the throne until he died on the 7th of June 1329, aged 54. But his brother had a terrible execution, and was condemned for fighting against the English king, and for attempting to protect a number of high-ranking women and nobles. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.